Hello, ladies and gentlemen. So, after that absolute abomination <laughs> that was a proper cup of tea, I know that I was doing that just to make the brick bongers in my community upset, but I have something that's actually pretty fucking awesome for you guys today, and I'm gonna make it for you. Let's get started, shall we? So, the first thing I want to note is I've been, at time of recording, unemployed for about a month now. It sucks, but sometimes I want a sweet treat. Problem is, sweet treats are usually kind of expensive. They can't, I mean, not really. You can go get a, you know, a Snickers bar for a couple bucks down at the Walgreens, but sometimes it's better to, you know, pocket what money you can. And with this, these dessert paninis, uh, we're going to do just that. Now this... Uh, recipe only calls for three ingredients. Nutella, butter, we're using the Irish pure uh, variety, and uh, sliced bread. Preferably you're going to want some kind of like processed bread that you buy from the store. I'm going with white. I have done it with wheat. Wheat also turns out very good as well. But the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna get started with our prep. We're gonna take this cup. Uh, you could probably wanna use, if you have a, a cookie cutter, that might be better, but for the time, or even a, a wider um, than this, a, a mug, you're going to want to put your cup in the center of it, and you're gonna want to cut, effectively, little disc uh, versions of bread here, which you can, which you, we then uh, will use to make the dough of our uh, little paninis. Don't worry, no waste. These will be left out to dry under a paper towel overnight, and I will be using these to turn them into breadcrumbs for frying food. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna roll these out. Preferably, you'd want to use a rolling pin, but because, you know, I don't own one, we're gonna be using this bottle of Tito's instead. And we're just going to, with as much physical force we can without breaking it, get them and do one side and then do the other to make sure we have optimal levels of flatness and then there we have our little pseudo pastry dough the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take a spoon and a thing of Nutella and we're going to do jump cuts here because your boy is only doing this with one hand but, uh, not as neat as I would have liked but we then start the process of taking these with a fork, I'm gonna see if I can do this one-handed so I can get the shot, fold them over like thus, and then press them short, closed, with a fork. Now you're gonna do this on both sides because you wanna make sure that they absolutely, absolutely stay shut. Ta-da! Minus the uh, massacre that happened here. This doesn't actually affect it that much. It's just going to have some crispy chocolate on the outside. Next up, we're going to put our stove onto medium-low heat. And we're just going to let this butter do its thing. Yes, we're butter frying these. Decadent and probably obnoxious, I know. Add a little bit more butter to give it some more coverage. And we're already going the heart disease route, so why the fuck not? Ooh, we got it bubbling. That means they're ready to go in. So we're gonna start with this like super fucked up one here. And we're gonna do the second one there. And the third one here. So we're gonna let these go. Uh, I no particular time frame. We're just gonna let them go until they're about golden brown. Um, you can use tongs to flip them if you're sure, but I find the spatula to be significantly more gentle. And um, flipping them early on just to like get that cutter coating of butter is fine. Again, I used way too much fucking butter here, but you know, you live and you learn. Normally you want to use probably half the amount of butter I did, and then you're going to want to let them go to their golden brown and super crispy. Now, if you did make the mistake I did of adding too much butter, it, they're still fucking delicious. They're fri it's fried butter. They're wonderful. You're going to love it. It's just... If you want it a little more heart healthy, cut the butter in half. Or, if you have it, use ghee. That's probably better, too. As they're uh, cooking, um, I would recommend uh, serving them with 
strawberry jam, because you know strawberries and chocolate go great together, or if you have a pound of strawberries in your fridge like I do, you can make some strawberry um, uh, a simple syrup, which I have a I already have one in the cooking by approximation playlist. Uh, there probably should be a thing like up there or down in the doobly doo or somewhere ever talking about it at the, around this point. Um, th those go very well with the simple syrup. The strawberry simple syrup is wonderful for dipping sauce. Very decadent, very delicious, and a different type of sweetness that kind of cuts through the like the, the the intense chocolatey flavor of Nutella. These are coming along wonderfully. You can hear the little uh, the the crispiness of the golden brown. That one's a little darker than I would have liked, as is that one, but honestly, it's not that big of a deal, I think. And with this, it looks like this one is, is done. This one could go just a little bit longer. And this one is about done, too. Unfortunately, one of the paninis fell off a fork trying to escape, and sadly, they uh, we only have uh, two on the plate for the time being. But we'll make that do. And let's check out the final product with uh, some of the uh, jelly, shall we? Now, I want to be clear that these are very much finger food. But I will be eating them with a fork because, well, they're hot. They just came out of the pan. So here we have a beautiful... Let me just get this up here in front of you. This is a professional show, folks, by the way. A wonderful little cross-section. Let's just see what that looks like in there. But very good. And then just fork it. Dab it a little bit in the uh, jam. Again, syrup, with strawberry syrup, in my experience with this, has been better. Link somewhere. I mean, it's white bread stuffed dumplings fried in butter. What else could you want with straw with strawberry jam? I made these initially for my partner in the middle of Chicago, who was in the middle of a writing an essay and was taking all night to do it. So I realized I woke up at 2.30 in the morning. She was still wasn't in bed. So I went and made her these and it put a brutal smile on her face and helped her get through. Thought she had a stroke. At the end of the next 24 hours later, because she didn't sleep or eat all day, but that's on her, not me. Anywho, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching Cooking by Approximation. Definitely try these. They're stupid simple. I got this these done in probably two or three minutes more than the, what the runtime of this video is going to be. And, um, yeah. Definitely a great sweet treat for you to get a shot. Thank you so much for watching. If you aren't already a member of my Discord, please consider joining at the links down below. And uh, if you are a member of my Discord and you have the financial wherewithal to do so, please consider becoming a channel member. It helps me out financially, it helps me make more videos, and especially now that I'm in between jobs, it's... um. Helps with, helps with the bare minimums, and I appreciate it. Regardless, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys a bunch. Have a good one.